A lot of people who go into medicine, they imagine just life as a doctor day to day. You know, you get up, you treat patients, you have surgeries, you have a busy life. And the bigger story is that you're giving back to a community and you're not just treating individual patients, you're treating communities. And understanding that at 17, 18, before you're even going into college, it really affects your medical path. To me, I think the mission of SMYSP is to get more students from low-income and minority backgrounds into the healthcare profession. And it's with the idea that if we do that, then the healthcare profession as a whole will improve. The 24 students we have are rising students, juniors and seniors. They all have an interest in science, medicine, and health. They are academically strong, but don't have some of the resources as some other students. Students like these, students from very different backgrounds, you know, economically, you know, racially, who basically bring a different perspective and a different understanding of what medicine is and what medicine needs to be. Well, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I thought it would be like a great opportunity to see what I want to be when I'm older. I know it's going to be really long and hectic and kind of unbearable at times, but I do want to go to college. I know college might be just as bad, so this is kind of getting me ready for that. I didn't want to be at home doing nothing, because usually kids just sit around during the summer. So I decided to fill out the application and take a shot in the dark, and I got accepted. So oh, I'm glad to be here. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm happy, I'm excited. A lot of people I talked to about like the medical field and stuff, they was like, if you want to spend the rest of your life going to school, and like, I just want to know if it's really for me. When I came to Stanford 23 years ago, I could see the lack of diversity in the health professions, and we made a commitment to reach out to our local communities, embrace those students, bring them to campus, and begin evening the playing ground. This year, we had 404 students apply for 24 slots, and our application is an extensive application. It's tough. This is a very academically rigorous program. They're learning very complex material at a very fast pace. The point, I don't think, is to, for them to learn everything these weeks that they're here, but it's to expose themselves so when they do put themselves into that position later on, they're not surprised by the new situations. It's been crazy. Yeah, it's been really intense. Yeah. There's these alumni, and they said it was going to be intensive, but I was just like, oh, they're old, they don't know. We're young, we know. <laughs> I said, we when I stepped in the first day of the house and I looked at the whole schedule, yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> we have a busy five weeks. We really throw them into things that they've never seen before, and it starts clicking that, yes, they can do this. So we're going to make it down for laughing. When you first get in there, you're like, oh, God, they're going to open the bag. Well, as soon as they open it, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> the smell is kind of like, it's not a horrible smell, but it's like, his body's in here kind of smell, you know? When we teach them anatomy, we do not cut a lot of corners. The questions that I end up asking them on their tests are questions a lot of times that are taken straight from a medical school examination. Okay, what is this? Lester Carpe Radialis. So the other side is what? Lester Carpe Radialis. High five. Once they see people who are in a position that they would like to be, taking them seriously, it gives them some validation. It's almost like a transformation. The students come out and they feel like they have not been through a program, they've had an experience. SMYSP is not just a hardcore science, you will work, you will sleep, you will eat. No, we care about this community of excitement over science and over learning. I just thought it was going to just be like work, science, medicine. I didn't really expect that we would all like become like such good friends and like family. After the five weeks ends in the summer, SMYSP does not end. Not only are they given this five-week opportunity, but then, you know, we follow them. We have tracked 97% of our students up to 23 years, so we know the college and career outcomes and the tremendous success. With this class, we have 524 students who've gone through our program. We have a 100% rate of students graduating from high school, 99% of our students attend college. We have about 48% of our students who are now in the medical profession. When they leave here, they have the confidence and the knowledge that they can do pretty much anything they really desire. Hard work and effort is going to play a lot into it, but just a little bit of opportunity, a little bit of encouragement, and will take them a long way. Today is the last day of formal class for the students. Five weeks has gone by in a flash. 
they're not going to want to go home. It was a long journey, long five weeks. <laughs> long five weeks. It's the last day. I miss my roomies. Look, it's sharp. I came up here not knowing nothing, and I'm just so proud of that I accomplished everything I wanted to. I am capable of learning more and going to the edge instead of just stopping and giving up on myself. Good morning. <laughs> I would like to welcome you to our SMYSP Summer Residential Programs graduation ceremony celebrating the class of 2010. I'm excited because <laughs> she's excited. This is exactly what she wants to do. Ever since she was young, she wanted to be a doctor. He's the first one in our family that ever touched foot on such a big university. I remember when I dropped you off at preschool, he just turned around and said, Bye, Mom. Then I knew you were going to do something on your own, bigger than we have. The Stanford Medical Youth Science Program presents this certificate of completion in recognition of their participation in the SMYSP 2010 Summer Residential Program. I love seeing them go through that process of, I don't know if I can do it, to I can't do it, to I think I can do it, to I did it. And that's what graduation day is all about. And when you see them, you see how proud they are to be there, to have accomplished everything that they had, and then to see the looks on the family's faces. You can see there's this reciprocal pride that both the participant and the parents have. At the end of five weeks, you see them stand in front of an audience of 300 faculty, friends, and parents. They're self-assured and they're confident, and you can see that they're on their way to college. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.